Good morning, YouTube adores and YouTubians. I was reading the comments yesterday. Some people like YouTube adores, some people like YouTubians. So we are going to create two lands. You can be a YouTube adorian, or you can be a YouTubian. You can live in this village or this village. And you can take the train to each other's village as long as we all get along. I don't care which side you belong to. And we can all live together in Utubia. Ha! So that's that. Uh, it's going to be a good day. You know how it's, I know it's going to be a good day. Because when I poured my first cup of coffee, I saw a fly floating on top. And you're thinking, how's that going to make it a good day? Well, I could have not seen it. Could have been on the bottom. I could have drank it. And then my mind would have to go, hmm, don't know what that was. Oh, you know what it was? It was a clump of that uh, non-dairy creamer. But no, it wasn't. It was a fly. And you drank it. So that's how it's going to be a good day. See, it's how you think. You got to think different. It's a good thing I've seen it, because I do not like flies, and I do not like them in my food or beverage. Uh, we are coming to you with my new tripod right now. Man, does that make things easy. And I'll try out the selfie stick today. And I did not know, maybe I didn't read, I'm not an instruction reader, but i seen a button on here. And I'm like, well, what does that do? And I thought maybe it automatically shot out, something like that. Nope, nope, that's Bluetooth. I guess I put my phone on there, I've already got the phone hooked up, and then I push that there button, and it starts filming. Push it again, it stops. I haven't tried it out yet. It may only work like that on pictures, but we'll see if it works like that on video. Man, that's cool. And I think... Yeah, and it's, it's on the tripod, too. There's a little connector uh, cell phone thing for the uh, tripod. It's also Bluetooth. Man, what all, everything's Bluetooth today. Everything. But I like it. It's good when you get older and you ain't got to get up and turn stuff on and off. I like that. That's a lazy man feature that I like. So that's, that's, cause I could see trying to pull that thing back in and do that. It's not going to happen. Hmm. Hmm. So yeah, UPS came to the wrong house, so I gotta call them up. Uh, and he's not even a close neighbor; he's down the road. Now, luckily, he brought brought the package in and gave it to me. I was over at the neighbor's house; they're all sick, so I was over there taking care of their dog and. I seen a truck pull in. I knew it wasn't UPS or anything, but I didn't recognize the truck. And he hands that box out the window. Drop it off in my house. Okay. So I call them up. Haven't got any FedEx yet, but uh, I sure appreciated the gifts. I also, I had some PayPal contributions come in yesterday. Man, that was that was awesome. You guys know who you are. Uh, Unless I see your comments, I really can't go back and thank you. There's no way to do that on PayPal. There may be. So if I didn't give you a thank you, I'm doing it now. Uh, if I find a way how to do that, you know, through PayPal or YouTube, you know, which I didn't. I'm pretty smart about those things. Well, then I'll do that personally with a message. But I do appreciate it. Uh, that helps me a lot. I didn't know how I was going to get my phone paid this month, and now I can pay it. So that's what I'm going to go do this morning, go on a little road trip and pay my phone. I have to go to Oklahoma to do that because if I do it here in town, it costs $15 more because of the taxes and the 911 fees. So if I just drive another 30 miles, I can save $15 on my paying my phone. That's, that's ridiculous. There are things in Arkansas, it's cheap to live here, but there are certain things that, you know, cost you a little more. And especially if you live rural, you know, you're going to pay more for groceries. You're going to pay more for meat. You may not get the item in the grocery. We got one grocery store. You may not get that item that you want. 
there may be something you need, such as, uh, you know, like this. I can't, you know, if they have this in town, a selfie stick or a tripod, I haven't found where they have them. Cause we used to have a Walmart. They closed it a couple of years ago. Um, you know, they're like, if they don't, it was a smaller Walmart, the old kind. And, you know, if they don't have the big mega superstore, then they're not going to have them. And they just didn't want to. So our nearest Walmarts, there's four or five to choose from, but the closest is 50 miles. Anywhere you go, it's 50 miles, and that's something you got to consider moving out to a rural area uh, out in the country. You're going to do some driving, but you do get used to it. You know, I plan those things maybe once a week to go to the Walmart. I haven't been at Walmart two times since this uh, coronavirus started, and. I used to go every every week, and I'm glad that I don't go every week now, you know. So, it's not that it saves me money, it really doesn't, because I'm spending more to buy it local. And But, you know, property taxes, I don't have any. I've, I've got a homestead credit. Uh, they, it's, it, they value your property, and then your taxes are based on that. And... There's a certain amount, you know, if your taxes are lower than that, then you don't pay any taxes. And I'm, I fit into that bracket. Now, if I keep fixing up my house, <laughs> they're going to evaluate it and, and rate, you know, I may have to pay a little, but it's it's still not going to be much. And this is a state that does the personal tax. So when you go to get your car tags every year, there's a personal tax. Actually, you're supposed to pay that months earlier before you're, you know, I always wait until uh, my tags are due, and then I pay it there, and I have to pay a late fee, but it's not, I think, $59 a month. It's on your vehicles. I've got that old fifth wheel. They rate that. Any trailers you might have, uh, none of them are worth nothing, so, you know, I don't have to pay a whole lot of tax, but it's not bad, you know. You go to, you go to get your tags here, you're... You're surprised if there's anyone else in there. You're in and out in 10 minutes, no matter what you do. And they know me there. They know me by name. You know, of course, I used to deal with them a lot, but, you know, it's a small town. You can't go to the grocery store and not have somebody know you. And uh, I did go the other day, and somebody yelled, Hey, dog man. I'm like, huh? I didn't even, got, I didn't even have a 1,000 subscribers. I didn't know the person, so you know, if I did, I didn't remember. So, I don't know what I'm going to do today. They're calling for 20% chance of rain. If it was 50%, we, I knew we wouldn't get any, but if they say 20%, we always get rain. Don't know why. But I've seen it here. It'll be raining out in the road, 150 feet away, and I'm sitting on my porch and it never does rain. Or I'll be, it could be raining in town all day, come home, it never rained here. It's just we're in that little weird, you know, part of the weather pattern that goes through that you may or may not get it. Uh, nothing to worry about, though. So anyway, I'm going to get off here, try to get y'all three videos today. Uh, I got some uh, things to pick up. I'm going to try to get that wood I took out of the shed, all that stuff. Yeah, if it's going to rain, I need to get that. I don't want it back in the shed because it was is a problem, so I'm going to brainstorm and come up with something. I may make a little area up in Libby's kennel. She's got a roof in there and where it can be stashed up in there and ain't going to bother her none. And She's in trouble today anyway. She barked all night, and when she, she never barks at night, never. So something was out creeping around, bear, or I don't know. Something was out there. All the dogs got up like 2 in the morning. Of course, when they're barking out there, this little one barks. And she's got that high-pitched bark and gets me up. And So I got the flashlight and went out there looking around. I, I never see nothing. Very, very rarely is there anything. But dogs know. They sense that there is something. Now, especially if all of them's barking. But it was some kind of an animal, I'm sure. Coyotes might have been thick. They're real thick around here, but they may have been in a little closer last night. Uh, they generally, they don't come around if there's dogs. So, it could have been Bigfoot, you know. 
we're there. He's he's been spotted around here. Uh, I should leave some food. I should make a Bigfoot feeder out there. I got a squirrel feeder, bird feeder. I should make a Bigfoot feeder. What does a Bigfoot eat? I don't know. Six foot long sub sandwich. He probably liked that. I couldn't afford it though. So I don't know. I don't know what Bigfoots eat. They don't ever come out. They never let you see them. Pictures are always fuzzy. Same with aliens, you know. UFO pictures are always fuzzy. Can't really make out what it is. Maybe they're designed that way. Alright guys, I'm going to get this uploaded so I can, because I need to take my phone and I have to have my phone uploaded, so I need to get this uploaded so I can hit the road and get back here early. Happy trails! I thought I made a video.